Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, my leaders. Uh, happy Heritage Day. Today, I want to speak about the five habits of people who win in life. Five habits of people who win in life. My name is Naftali Ranto. If you're on YouTube and you want to come to our WhatsApp group, you can WhatsApp me on plus two seven seven double nine double eight double one seven one. If you are on our WhatsApp group, you can subscribe also to my YouTube channel. Just search for Naftali over Kama Ranto, then you will go to my YouTube channel. Then you can subscribe for you not to miss uh, other updates that are coming in terms of personal development and other subjects that I'm going to present. Or also you can find the previous presentations that I did on uh, uh, network marketing as well as uh, presentations that we are busy with on personal development from the beginning. Okay, so thank you very much. Today we are going to carry on with the five habits of people who win in life. Five habits of people who win in life. Please grab your pen, remove all distractions and concentrate. Okay, <clears throat> sorry. Okay, do you consider yourself to be a winner in life or a loser? Contrary to the popular perception, winning has nothing to do with luck. Below are the five habits that separate winners from losers, along with some practical techniques that will position you to win in life. So, habit number one, learn to win without compromise. Learn to win without compromise. People who win in life never compromise their character for gain. From early on, we develop a competitive nature to win big in everything we do. This inner drive is what compels us to reach higher and push harder, whether it is in sports, having fun, or in serious business. We all want to win, but how do we define true winners? Is it standing in the spotlight with a trophy or standing behind your values without recognition, even when it hurts? When, when we have to compromise who we are to win, we will lose everything in the end. This is perhaps one of the greatest lessons to consider before putting these powerful techniques below in, into action. Always stay true to yourself and others, regardless of the cost, and you will win more in life than you ever thought possible. So habit number two, increase your win factor. There is a universal law that creates, that increases the win factor enormously. Most of us grow up, growing up, were not taught to consider the law of probability. We were taught to think more in terms of alternatives. If you don't do this, you won't get that. Don't eat your vegetables and you will not get dessert. This concept teaches us to be responsible and that there is a reward at the end of the rainbow. The problem is this same uh, concept to carry over into habitual thinking pattern as adults and put limitations on everything we do. We think in order to win in life, we have to punish ourselves. The gold is always on the other side of the rainbow and never on the journey along the way. These concepts are flawed at best and very deceitful. To increase your win factor, realize that the probability is not about how lucky you are or how much pain you are willing to put yourself through to win. It's about mastering the ability to think, act, react to your daily circumstances. This is what puts the success factor in your favor. So habit number three, use the law of probability. Use the law of probability. The law of probability takes a complete different approach than just alternatives. With probability, winning becomes more of a science than luck or sacrifice. You can master winning with precision using strategies where you are most likely to come out ahead. This means that with all probability, you can win in life by putting the odds in your favor. There is a case. There is a cause and effect to every thought and action we do, which creates both positive and negative results. This determines whether we lose or win in life. One of the most powerful ways to increase probability, 
probability is through energy. Yes, the energy. Our entire mental, physical, and spiritual state is all produced by energy. It takes energy to think, move, and to breathe. The martial art expert takes the energy from their opponent and uses it to win. Your opponent is your mind, and your mind holds the key to an extraordinary life. It takes just as much energy to be negative about your life as it does to be positive. So if you if we have to think to survive, we might as well use the energy to work out, to work in our favor. Positive energy is everything if you want to win in life. It brings health, hope, success into everything we do. It also puts the win factor in our favor with all probability. Okay, number four, habit number four, form habit of a winner. There are two habits that more that both winners and losers do that keep them both on the opposite side of life. People who lose in life usually have a habit of magnifying their problems. People who win find solution to their problems and view the problems as something that enables them to do things better next time around. This habit takes negative energy problems and uses it, it to become stronger, smarter, and more efficient. So the habit of solving problems help build self-confidence while increasing the probability to win in life. Winners do it now. Successful people have a habit of getting things done now. This habit enables, helps eliminate problems while making things happen systematically, which ultimately makes them successful. Okay, people who lose in life are procrastinators and usually have all the time in the world to do nothing. This is what creates insecurity, depression, and feelings of hopelessness. If you want better results, start doing things that you have put off for a long time. Start planning each day with tasks you want to accomplish. Do whatever it takes to get things done now. The habit of, of now will put the law of probability in your favor. Winners have a habit of being accountable. When you, when you study the lives of successful people, you will find it that many have a tendency to hold themselves completely accountable for whatever happens in their life. If you want to win in life, then make your thoughts and actions accountable to you only. This will position your life for more happiness and success. Accountability puts you in complete control regardless of the outcome. Whether you are, you are not, when you are not in control of your life, you have no authority over what happens to you, which means you are powerless. The habit of accountability is a huge factor that separates winners from losers. Okay, habit number five, develop the art of strategy. Developing a strategy that works is an art that it's not always easy to master. Successful people usually develop skill sets shrouded around a strategy. They, they fine tune their strategy with consistency until eventually something works. They are willing to fail over and over until they find something that takes them to the next level. Once this happens, it elevates them to a newer strategies that make them successful. Winners are not easily are not easily discouraged from obstacles. In fact, of them, in, in fact, some of their most successful investments started out as an obstacle. They learned to take negative energy obstacles and make it work in their favor. Losers usually have never have a strategy or simply quit before it has a chance to work. Not all strategies work, but finding the ones that you do is an art that people who win in life learn to master. Okay, in, 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 in conclusion, the bottom line is how do you define a winner? Is it to have more money, cars, and fancy lifestyle, or to be a better mom, a dad, a husband, or wife? Maybe it's to grow closer to God. Maybe it's all of the above. Having money does not always make you a winner, 
nor does being poor. Being a winner is when you can look inside yourself and know you are doing your best for your family and others and yourself. So, ladies and gentlemen, as I said previously, if you want things to be done, you better do it yourself now. Because if you sit around, nothing is going to happen. So if you want to win, stop procrastinating and start taking action as of today. So I'm working with a company called Longreach and it has never been so better. There's an hour currently, there's a special that is running until the 14th of October, which is special. When you join with 1,500, your, your sponsor get 450 rand as a referral bonus. So this is a very great opportunity for those that don't believe in this business. Start registering yourself, then you get everyone to join with at least 1,500 rand and you qualify on the spot. You qualify for 450 referral bonus that whenever you register someone, you will receive that bonus until the 14th of October. So jump in now and let's help you to get started. Long reach, better life for all. Thank you very much. God bless you.